Hey everyone, and welcome back to Medical Videopedia. Today we'll be discussing the difference between type 1 and type 2 diabetes. The main difference between type 1 and type 2 diabetes is that type 1 diabetes is a genetic condition that often shows up early in life, and type 2 is mainly lifestyle related and develops over time. Only 8% have type 1 diabetes and all the rest have type 2 diabetes. Type 1 diabetes is 10 times less common than type 2 diabetes. Type 1 diabetes is caused by the body's immune system damaging the pancreas and therefore no insulin can be manufactured by the body. In type 1 diabetes, the body fails to make insulin. Type 1 diabetes is a chronic lifelong autoimmune disease that prevents your pancreas from making insulin. Insulin is an important hormone that regulates the amount of glucose, which is sugar, in your blood. Another hormone, glucagon, works with insulin to control blood glucose levels. In most people, type 1 diabetes, the body's immune system, which normally fights infections, attacks and destroys the cells in the pancreas that makes insulin. As a result, your pancreas stops making insulin. Without insulin, glucose can't get into your cells and your blood glucose rises above normal. People with type 1 diabetes need to take insulin every day to stay alive. Type 2 diabetes occurs when a person's body no longer responds to insulin correctly. This is called insulin resistance. After some time, the pancreas makes less and less insulin. When you have type 2 diabetes, your fat, liver, and muscle cells do not respond correctly to insulin. As a result, blood sugar does not get into these cells to be stored for energy. When sugar cannot enter cells, a high level of sugar builds up in the blood. This is called hyperglycemia. The body is unable to use the glucose for energy. This leads to symptoms of type 2 diabetes. Type 2 diabetes usually develops slowly over time. Most people with the disease are overweight or obese when they are diagnosed. Increased fat makes it harder for your body to use insulin the correct way. A doctor may diagnose diabetes if a person's blood sugar levels are 126 milligrams per deciliter or above after fasting for 8 hours. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video with your friends and family or anyone else you feel like will benefit from this video. If you want to support our work, please consider donating to our Patreon, PayPal, or Venmo. Links are in the description below. Talk to you again soon.